This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Visit Sailrite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. Hi, I'm Eric Grant from Sailrite. Sometimes when you're sewing Sunbrella decorative piping with a top plate for a pillow in this situation, you may find that the fabric actually wrinkles as you're sewing. And that's probably because one fabric is feeding faster than the other, even though you have a walking foot sewing machine. Now with a compound walking foot sewing machine like the Sailrite Fabricator, that's not as much of a problem because the needle actually moves back with the presser foot, so it helps to pull both assemblies in evenly. But there are some tricks to help resolve this problem with any sewing machine. And in this video, we're gonna show you those tricks. So right now you'll notice the fabric is nice and flat. There are no wrinkles in it. And this is our Sunbrella piping, decorative piping. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what can happen. So it's gonna wrinkle up. Uh, I'm gonna just feed it through this walking foot sewing machine, uh, feeding it under the cording tunnel of my presser foot that comes standard on this, the Sailrite Ultrafeed LS1 sewing machine. So again, I'm not gonna do anything besides normal sewing, what you would probably do if you were doing this at home. Now you want to make sure that you sew as long a straight stitch as possible. We're set up with a six millimeter. And you also want to make sure that you have as little upper tension as possible. That will help to reduce puckering. Okay, but even with that set the way it should be, if you take a look at the fabric, look at all the wrinkles that are happening in that fabric. The side profile shows it more than the underside profile but that does not look good, and that's actually shrinking up the fabric. Our end results will have a lot of puckering that we do not like. So how do you resolve that? One approach is to use seamstick basting tape for canvas. What this does is it allows you to baste the piping to your plate so that it doesn't move faster or the plate doesn't move faster than the piping. So now I can peel off the transfer paper revealing the glue and then I would just simply base this around the perimeter of my plate. And in doing this, nothing will move. Now an alternative to basting tape is to use pens or to use uh, staples and staple it in place. Here's an example of our decorative piping that has been basted in place. And you'll notice there are no wrinkles or puckers. Okay, so we have not applied double-sided tape to this and obviously we have not pinned it. So what can I do if I don't want to use double-sided tape and I don't want to pin it or staple it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the material and the piping from behind the sewing machine and pinch it with my fingers. And then I'm going to make sure it's flat here and pinch the front with my fingers like this. And now I can pull on the fabric while not impeding or interfering with the way the sewing machine is sewing because I still want the sewing machine to do the actual work. I just want to pull the fabric so it's nice and flat. Then when I get to my needle, I'll move my back hand, pinch the fabric there, and I'll move my forward hand, making sure that the fabric is nice and flat, like this. I'm pinching the piping and also the fabric. Then I'll grab it from behind and do the same, and I'm basically pulling the fabric while not impeding with the way the walking foot is pulling the f or feeding the fabric in. This helps to keep the wrinkles to a bare minimal as the fabrics are feeding consistently. Let's take a look at it now. Nice and flat. There are a few small wrinkles in it, but they are very unpronounced. So that definitely helps. We hope you enjoyed this tip to avoid puckering when sewing the decorative piping. If you have questions, give us a call or email us. We're glad to help.